Opa! My original intention today was not to come out to Tarpon Springs. I was actually on my way to a local park. However, there were so many people inside this park that social distancing was impossible. So I came up the road to the sponge docks and surprisingly there is no one walking around. Well, there is a few people, but not as much as that park. I think it worked out just fine because Tarpon Springs is awesome. The Gulf waters off the west coast of Florida, north of Tampa Bay, comprise one of the few areas of the world where the species of natural sponges, suitable for commercial use, are found. Within a few years, many Greeks had arrived in the area to work in the sponging industry. Well, this guy knows where we're going, yep. Heading that way, sir, headed to Sponge-O-Rama. Sponge-O-Rama Sponge Factory, the world's largest selection of sponges. The original since 1968. I can never pass up a free photo opportunity. Screenshot. No, wait, wait, wait. Screenshot. There is a sign and mural on the front porch of Spongerama. It gives a brief history and a lot of old photos. Here's an example of a lucky day out on the water. A fine sponge catch. Look at all those sponges. Here's a better example of a sponge diver in full gear. Can you imagine how heavy that helmet must have been? Commercial sponges from the United States come chiefly from the Gulf of Mexico and the Straits of Florida, extending from Key West to St. Mark's Light near Apalachicola, in depths of from 10 to 130 feet and reaching from 1 to 50 miles from shore. Here's a sea sponge right here, right out of the Gulf of Mexico. Yep. It's sponge-worthy. Walking to the back of Spongerama, there's actually a Spongerama cruise a sightseeing cruise. You can see a whole lot of dolphins out there and perhaps find some sponges. And it looks like it might be open. These gentlemen are climbing aboard. Hmm, behind Spongerama, there's a strip of tables that looks like people are getting their food over at the sponge dock strip, I'm walking over here and enjoying a lovely place to sit and eat. Now that's social distancing right there. Nice little kayak adventure. You can paddle all the way out to the Gulf of Mexico, past Anclote Park. Tarpon Springs is one of many places in Tampa Bay area that remind me of Key West. Another one being Safety Harbor, and another one, Gulfport. Gulfport, Florida, which is at the tip of St. Petersburg. All have that kind of small town, tropical feel. Docks, waterfront, bar, and seafood grill does not look to be open, but the giant chair, which sits in its parking lot, it's wide open. Another photo opportunity and screenshot. Docks is not only closed, folks, it's super closed. Don't even get near it. Don't wanna sound the alarm. The Tarpon Springs City Marina is home to one of the cutest visitor centers I've ever seen. You may have noticed these dolphins before in some of my videos. There are hundreds of these dolphins, these statues around Pinellas County, all themed to where they are placed. Rule number three of COVID land, beware of bathrooms. Here's one of the finer restaurants here in Tarpon. Aegean Bar, Grill, and Patio. It looks like it used to be an old hotel, but very Greek looking, very, very, very immaculate. This giant of sponge diver, and I say giant because this is a giant statue. I'd say it's whew, close to eight feet tall but the 
placard below says it's a tribute to the sponge divers of Tarpon Springs. Just in case you thought I was kidding, I mean, I'm six foot three, give or take, maybe six foot two and a half, but yeah, he's at least eight feet tall. Humongous. This should give you a better perspective of where we're located. Right there, we're at the sponge factory, right here in the parking lot. And here is what they call the sponge dock strip. Well, looky what we have here. Another photo opportunity. Boy, aren't these fun? Hey, looks like I, I did good today. I got some sponges and a fish down there. Hey, is that a mermaid behind me? There are quite a few cigar shops here in Tarpon Springs. This one's called Fabrica de Tabacos. This sponge diver's got a giant stogie hanging out his mouth. He's indicating that to the right is a parking lot for customers only. Looks like someone decided to write their name in the concrete here. And I'd say, by the looks of it, they were Greek. Look at that, it's pretty cool. Lori Soaps and Sponges is a very pleasant stop. It smells really good in there. Lots of soaps and sponges. Just off of Dockenese is Athens Street, a whole nother strip of Greek restaurants, shops, and bakeries. Most of the more authentic Greek restaurants and stores are down Athens, including Agora Food Market. Check out all the items I purchased inside Agora Food Market. I got this Greek soda, the original non-alcoholic flavored soda a sesame seed snack, a choco freta, kind of remind me of like a chocolate wafer snack, and I got some chewing gum. Elma Mastic Chewing Gum. Hmm. Mastic, like mastication. Mastification. I believe that's the proper term for chewing. Thank goodness it's a twist off. That's really good. It, it just tastes like sugar, really, but it's sweet. Mm. Carbonated. Mm, refreshing. I sure needed something to drink. Stuff's good. <sighs> Opa. The aroma coming out of that door is just amazing. Oh, there's nothing like the smell of fresh bread. Forno's Bakery. This mural on the side of this Greek tavern gives a good depiction of what usually happens inside. The sponge exchange is kind of like an outdoor mall. It's a square of shops and restaurants. And there's quite a few people congregating here right now. More than I expected. Well, yeah, you know what? It's, yeah, it's probably hot there, but it's probably actually 55. Where is he at? I was hoping to spend more time in here, but there's a lot of people inside the sponge exchange right now, so I'm moving quickly much quieter back here we might have back here all to ourselves wow it's extremely quiet back here a little too quiet it's hard to tell but I think that's Zeus or at one point he could have had a trident in his hand could could have been Poseidon but no, Poseidon is a merman, right?
Although I've always wanted to, I've never visited the Tarpon Springs Aquarium. They say they have live gators and sharks in there. Petting and feeding exhibits. I'll have to come back. Well guys, I think there's a storm coming by the looks of this sky, so it's time to wrap it up. I hope you had a good time. Tarpon Spring Sponge Ducks. Whoa, stepped on something. <laughs> I hope you had a good time, folks. Thanks for visiting the Tampa J channel. I am Tampa J, and I'll see you next time. As I always say, there's much ahead, my friends, meaning I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Know your love, and know there is much ahead, as I said before. All right, see ya. Okay, I'm leaving. There's much ahead, my friends. Bye bye. Ah, there it is.